my greatest achievement is I've been in this business for over 26 years and I haven't lost my soul. <laughs> There's a whole lot of people that are very, very successful that they don't even know which way is up anymore, right? And I feel like really cool that like I've, I've been, I've had my highs and my lows and stuff and I'd like, I mean, I'm happy, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't have anything that like, damn, should I have done this? Or, or, you know, I don't have any of that mm. bile, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, I can't believe that there's successful people who are like angry, you know what I mean? Like, it's angry because probably they made sacrifices that they didn't know that they were gonna make to be successful in a different way. I have just pretty much been, I, you know, I, I've, I've been, I, I call myself the first black film brat because Spike did so much and opening of doors and then going products and all these people. And when I came along, everybody was looking for the alternative, which was me. They were looking for the next me. Like, so I came in, made my first movie, Impact. So I was like, I'm not gonna take no shit. I'm gonna do what the fuck I wanna do. And <laughs> I got away with that for so much so time and I got just to do what I wanna do, right? And I had fun, I had a good time and I'm still having a good time. Mm. So it's like, and I, when I'm having a good time, I'm like, whoa, okay, I have a good time. Your stuff's gonna sell, it's gonna make money, boom. And then, so, I'm going to ride that wave as long as I can. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the, <laughs> the money that you didn't make turning down TV stuff. But I wonder I don't if, regret, any, I don't regret yeah, if you had any professional regrets. I don't regrets. regret it because if I had done that then, then I would have been doing it because I thought I had to do it. You know, I thought I had to do it. And then it's like, you know, you're sitting somewhere and you're like, I want to be sitting on, I don't want to sit on a set and be like, why in the fuck am I here right now? Why am I doing this shit? Mm. I don't want to do that. I want to do stuff that I'm like, I constantly, like, when I'm on a set, when it's 12 or 14 hours a day, I'm balls out. I'm having. I'm smiling. I'm joking, joking around with my crew. I'm working with the actors. I'm coming. I'm just like it's an adventure every day. Mm. That's what I want. And then at the end of the day, I just crash and pass out. You know what I mean? Like this. I don't want to sit somewhere and I have to sit in a chair and be like, when is this going to be over? <laughs> because it doesn't matter how much money you get thrown. It's like that when you don't have the spontaneity. When you, when you lose that spontaneity, it shows on, on in front of the camera. It that you know. And that won't last. That mm -hmm. you know, that won't last. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, me, um, I feel like, you know, like when I'm directing, you know, I, I wear really like really interesting athletic shoes and I'm going from place to place on a set and stuff like this, and I'm 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 thinking on the fly, I'm coming up with stuff on the fly, and it, it's it's like it's an excitement. Yes, it, it is a job, very much. It's, it's a job, but there's an excitement, there's an energy to it. And I get off on that energy, and, it, and you know it's, it's hard to not be able to do that, you know, all the time. You know, it's hard, you know, like you know, the, to, you know, when you're going from, you know, uh, you know, a movie every few years or whatever, you know, when television offers you to go do that, and even if you're not on the set, you're sitting with other creative types, you're coming up with ideas in a writer's room, and you're like, you know, you're sharing ideas with with, with, with interesting people and their form informed opinions, you know, it, you know. It's, mm. it's cool. Mm -hmm. What are some of the um, best lessons that you've learned over your career? Just patience, to be patient, um, to try to um, um, uh, you know, be real red and relaxed. You know, when things aren't working out, don't panic. I mean, I learned that early on. I learned that early on. I never was a panicker. I never, never been a person to panic. You know, I mean, outside of this, um, I spend a lot of time sailing. You know, I mean, I, I, I out of uh, uh, Marina del Rey, I go out to Mexico, I go out on the islands. You know, I'm fifty, hundred miles offshore and stuff like this, and that's when you learn stuff. You know, because you're like, you know, you're at the mercy of the elements. Mm -hmm. You know, you get close to God and stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and it's the same as directing. You know, totally much the same as directing. Mm -hmm. You know, you can. In, in that you, there's a certain amount that you have that's in your control, and then there's a certain amount, mm. a lot of certain amount that's mm. not in your control, but you're able to try to guide and navigate the whole thing. I, you know, I'm making an analogy now, but it's true.